Alright, on the last video I forgot to mention that this is the subscapularis. You know, it's behind the scapula. Alright, so got the view of our arm. And as you can see, we're looking at the posterior side. Um, towards the thumb side, we have number 13, which is the brachioradialis, which is this muscle. Then we have number 14 next to it, the extensor carpi radialis longus. Then we have number 15 right below that which is the extensor carpi radialis brevis. So we have the longus brevis. Then we have number 24, the extensor digitorum, which is this muscle right here. Okay. Then we have number 26, which is right here. It's towards the pinky side. And that is the extensor carpi ulnaris. <coughs> And then if we open this up, we have two muscles underneath. Number 28, which is the supinator. And then number 16, which is this muscle right here, which is more towards the thumb side, is the pronator teres, pronator teres. And then we're going to go to the anterior side of the arm where we have number 17, which is on the thumb side. So number 17 is the flexor carpi radialis. Then we have number 18, the palmaris longus. And then we have number 19, which is on the pinky side. You can see it's on the pinky side, and that's the flexor carpi ulnaris. Then we have number 20, which is this portion and this portion. And that's the flexor digitorum superficialis. Then if we open this up, we have number 21, which is this portion. And 21 is the flexor digitorum profundus. And if you can remember all that, you'll get an A on the test.